Jammo, episode 39, In My Father's House. With your family, play two rounds of hide and seek. When you're done, come back and press play. All together, sing the song, I love you, Lord. Have one of your grown-ups or a brother or sister read Luke 2, 41 through 52. We did it. We finished Christmas. Now we get to go to my favorite part, the part where we talk about Jesus's life. In our story today, you read about when Jesus was a young boy with his parents when they went for Passover celebration in Jerusalem. And when they went there, there was tons of other people so easy to get lost in so that when Jesus was there, He started talking to other church leaders. He started sharing about who God is and his knowledge about God because God is his father. And the other church leaders were amazed by him and so excited to hear from him. When his parents noticed he was gone, they ran back and they found Jesus and they're like, where were you? What's going on? And Jesus goes, don't you know, I'm in my father's house. How do you think Mary and Joseph felt when they found Jesus? How do you think they felt looking for him? Do you think they were scared? Do you think they were angry? And then when they found him, do you think they were in wonder at what Jesus knew, even as a little boy? See, even little, Jesus knew things. He was wise He knew his father's home. He knew that God was his father. He had patience and he was at peace, which is really hard to do. He had all of that. So this week, I want us to think about how Jesus was able to be at peace in his father's home. I want us to to practice breathing. One, two, three. I want us to talk to God like Jesus did. I want us to talk to God like he's here with us, because he is. I want you to say, dear God, today I did this, or how does this work? Or today, God, I feel like this. Or even, God, can you be with my friends, my family? Talk to God like you would anyone else, because he wants to listen. He wants to respond. Jesus knew who his father was and he talked to him openly and constantly and and I want us to be able to do that too. Now our father's home looks different right now because we all have to be at home, which is sad, but as we start this new year, I want us to to take time every day to be in our father's presence because he wants us to be in presence with him. So let's take some deep breaths and let's talk to God this year. Say a prayer with your family, asking God to help us to seek him and for us to know him and thanking him for all he's done for us.